Hi, everybody. So very, very good to be back with you again. I can't thank you enough. I'm just thrilled that you're practicing and championing this value of connecting uh, our relationships, our, our support for each other, both giving and receiving, just so absolutely critical for a, for a marvelous Christian life experience. As you know, I've said it a thousand times, God never intended for any of us to go through this life by ourselves and your living proof. And I hope that this blog will give you uh, just another opportunity to share and be transparent and give support to each other. If you remember back this last weekend, we talked about how God's game plan is put into practice when we take steps of faith. And we, we highlighted the very, very important points that when we wait on the Lord, we, we get courage uh, within our hearts. When we take steps of faith, we, we make a plan and, and we think that plan through and with full confidence that God is uh, providentially orchestrating everything in our lives. And so um, I hope that it was encouraging to you. You've got lots of different questions to uh, talk about and interact about. Uh, there was one passage of scripture that I didn't really get to highlight that is really, really fundamental to this. Uh, one of the things that uh, is a deep challenge to me, uh, I hate to wait for things, but waiting on the Lord is just so critically important for this process. We need to discover the Lord's mind. We need to have our hearts strengthened and with his assurance then to, to step out in faith. And I, I wanted to talk a little bit more about how when we take steps of faith, it doesn't mean that, that we don't have to keep waiting and trusting in the Lord. As a matter of fact, maybe even more so, we can do everything right and God may still have us waiting. Uh, we can reach out to uh, children who have rejected the faith and we still have to wait if they don't respond. Uh, we can go to all the medical doctors that we want and uh, do our right things and yet God may still tell us to wait before healing comes. So there's lots of different illustrations. but. The passage that I didn't get a chance to highlight is a familiar one to many out of Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31. Though youths grow weary and tired and vigorous young men stumble badly, yet those who wait for the Lord will gain new strength, they will mount up with wings like eagles, they will run and not get tired, they will walk and not become weary. As we wait upon the Lord, it's just so absolutely critical that we recognize waiting is not a waste. It instead clearly in this passage gives us new strength. When we're weak, we understand that our God is strong as we're waiting on Him. When we're intimidated, we realize that God will take anybody on. And, and as we think about Him and focus on Him, new strength and assurance comes to us we will gain new strength. We will mount up with wings like eagles. Eagles tend to fly at, at very, very high altitudes. And as we mount up with those wings, we'll be able to get a brand new perspective of all the challenges we go through, of what our difficulties are about, what our challenges are, what the blessings are. Waiting on the Lord is a very, very active thing. It's not a passive thing. And as we draw close to the Lord, we discover again he has strength that we don't have. He has perspective that we don't have. He says we will run and not get tired. There's extra energy that comes. There's a sense of rest and a, and a sense of God's got provision. When I am weak, then I am strong, the apostle said. And extra energy comes even to the extent that we will walk and not become weary. There, there becomes this, this uh, sense that the Lord will carry us through if we just endure, if we just in, abide in Him, if we just rest in Him and we hang on to Him, that He'll take care of us. This whole idea of waiting on the Lord, it's a very active process. And so as you take that step of faith, don't think that automatically everything is going to turn up roses for you. There may be this ongoing need to trust in the Lord and wait on the Lord and hang on to the Lord. And if we do that, he'll give his blessing to our lives. 
So I, I, I'd love to have you talk some more about how you've waited on the Lord, what you're waiting on right now, and how it can give you a new sense of strength and a new perspective, a whole new sense of energy, and even an endurance to continue on. And this way we can help each other, encourage each other by waiting together on the Lord. So thanks again for taking the time to meet and for viewing this blog. I pray it's a blessing to you. And I will trust now with all the questions that you'll have, you'll have a great time together. So Lord willing, we look forward to be back, being back with you next week.